MC Fix It here. We're going to work on a Honda key fob. Uh, the batteries do not work. Anything you click uh, does not work. Um, it's a pretty simple fix, and so stick around to watch it. Here's what you're going to need for this video. Um, you're going to need your key fob, the battery, which is a 1616, a really small Phillips screwdriver. I really prefer to have a pick and some kind of a bag um, or something to hold the really, really small screw in that is right there. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Phillips screwdriver and uh, just begin to turn it to the left. Um, some of these are really hard to do at the beginning. They just really uh, are sticking in there pretty well. Um, and then you take the little screw out. A lot of times they'll have the blue that is kind of like a Loctite. Go ahead and put that in your bag. That really just kind of helps secure it. Um, and then something kind of weird about these ones, it does help to have a pick and you can kind of begin to move it off. Um, and as you're doing it, you'll see it begins to slowly come open. Do not force this because it does have to kind of slide on the end. And you can see right there, there is a little lip and that slides inside of here to lock it in. Uh, then this is the little cartridge piece here and the battery is inside of here. Go ahead and take your pick. If you have good fingernails, you can do this too, um, but I like to use the pick because it doesn't seem to damage things as much. And then right there is your battery. And remember the direction that it's faced. You just pop that out. And this is a 1616 battery. It is a three volt. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and check uh, what yours is as well. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up on the video, but a 1616, three volt. And uh, kind of the weird thing about these, I, I went everywhere looking for one. I ended up ordering it on Amazon and it came in about their biggest uh, box you can imagine for this small little battery. Um, but it was about half the price. I ended up going to a store later in the week um, and finding it because it's 2021. Amazon in my area is still really kind of slow um, to ship things out. So it just pretty much came in about three, four days with the weekend and uh, There it goes, that goes downward, and then you're gonna line it back up. And one thing you kinda can do is, you can see if it works, uh, I'm looking this direction behind me, and I'm seeing that my ridge line is unlocking and locking. Um, and then you just go ahead and put it back in. Make sure that's nice and secure in there. Also on the back of this, it does say the battery size, so it says battery three volt CR1616. And then remember this has this little lip on here. So as you're putting it on, you gotta kind of put the lip on and then it kind of just goes, nope, did not do it right. Put the lip on, on the back and then the other side will kind of click down in. Go ahead and go into your little baggie get your screw back out. I like to go ahead and just set it down in there, just like that. And then take your screwdriver and screw it right back down in. You do want it pretty tight. These screws can strip, strip so do be careful not to really give it your all. Once it kind of stops, maybe just a little bit of an extra turn, just like that, and you're all set and ready to go. If you found this video, I encourage you to go ahead and like and subscribe. It really does help me out to continue making more videos for you. Uh, but now you just go test it, make sure everything works. Um, and you can even see the little red light right there does work. That kind of gives you a little indication, but I also, like I said, can see right behind me. And uh, that is where my truck is and it's lighting up. Um, and so that works. Thank you guys so much for watching.